base of species is an alien in the environment. They find themselves swept away from home, but land somewhere they're able to grow and thrive. They earn an invasive title if they displace or cause direct harm to a native animal. We know that the worst case scenarios of this have caused extinctions already. My UCARE project looked at tail regeneration in gecko species, and it could show a trend for invasive lizards. What I looked at were geckos that were found in Florida, but are originally from around the world. I have one from the Mediterranean, one from Southeast Asia, and one from Sub-Saharan Africa. They're competing with each other instead of with the native animals, so they're thought to be less harmful as an urban animal. But in Brazil, the tropical house gecko has already moved into the wild. Here in Florida, they're pushing each other around and fighting for the same food and same shelters. So we've already seen the Mediterranean house gecko moving north and being pushed out of its former stronghold in the south. And an increased rate of a tail regeneration could be a factor of an invasive species success. If you can grow your tail faster after you lose it, you have an advantage over the animals who are slower than you. Losing your tail is very energetically expensive. It's high stress, you're less likely to eat, and you're more vulnerable to predators. When you need to grow a new tail, it costs more resources that you could be saving for having babies or saving fat for the next year. We've seen all of my geckos regrow their tails, but at different rates. And from what I have, it looks like the tropical house gecko handles stress best of all. It grows tails faster than all the other geckos, and it rarely passed up an opportunity to eat. Knowing the Mediterranean is losing ground is a good indication that it's vulnerable to competition from these other geckos. And from the research I've done, the flat tail gecko is also a slow regenerator. It's likely it will also be pushed out of Florida. Watching how these species interact with each other in the next few years will be important for wildlife researchers because when they do meet a native animal, we may be able to prepare to manage them. If we can identify an invasive species before it becomes permanently established, hopefully we can prevent the damage they'll cause to the ecosystem they invade. And knowing the worst case scenarios of those situations, hopefully we can prevent extinctions. Thank you.